Good morning. Welcome to Score in the Morning with you here on your TV. I'm Bradley Carp. Busy night in the world of sports last night, so we'll kick things off right away. Go to a story about a man and his dream to be a sportscaster. Bradley Carp, off to you. Thanks, Bradley. Well, my name is Bradley Carp, and uh, I'm 21 from Montreal. And when I found out that the score was doing another episode of Drafted, I figured, well, I might as well throw my name in the ring. So, a little bit about myself. I work here, Thompson's radio station, 610 CHTM in Thompson, Manitoba. I'm the news and sports director. And uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing this video and what my premise is, well, I thought if I'm going to be a sportscaster and I'm going to apply for this video, I might as well practice and do the best I can and imitate broadcasters. We all know that broadcasters don't wear pants behind the desk. So if you're wondering why I'm not wearing any pants, it's because I want to be a sportscaster. I know that's the true way to become a sportscaster is not wearing any pants. Brad, back to you at the score. I'm deeply disturbed. Those were the whitest legs I have ever seen in my entire life. Moving along, let's go to a story that will impact all broadcasters across the country. Hopefully have a ripple effect. But especially here in Thompson, we go to Bradley Carp with the mayor of the city of Thompson, Tim Johnston. Thanks, Brad. I'm here with the mayor of the city of Thompson, Tim Johnston. Tim, how long have you been mayor of the city for? This is my sixth year as mayor of the city of Thompson. And what big changes have you made to the city of Thompson in terms of maybe sporting events and, and other sport-related activities here in town? Well, one of the biggest things that we've done is we've completed the Thompson Regional Community Centre, which will provide a facility for uh, northern Manitoba in terms of uh, uh, refurbished arena, wellness center, meeting space, and really an opportunity where the North can come together and celebrate uh, uh, sporting cultural events, and uh, we're really looking forward to that uh, facility being in place uh, immediately. Okay, that's, that's cool, but really the, the most important thing is, what's this fancy metal about? This is the uh, chain of office for the city of Thompson, and this uh, I inherited, I guess, as the sixth mayor of the city of Thompson, and what it does is it shows the image of the city of Thompson. They call it the mayor's logo. Uh, notes that we are the centennial city because Thompson became a city in 1970 and on the side it has the name of each of the preceding five mayors of the city of Thompson as well as some of the emblems of significant contributors to the economy and the community. And does it come with any special powers? Oh yes, tremendous powers. Can I borrow it? Mm, only the mayor is allowed to wear the chain of office. But I'm a broadcaster. Well, okay then. All right, perfect. Hand it over. Okay. Is there a special prayer that you have to say now? No, you're, uh, you are the mayor of the city of Thompson. I'm the mayor of the city of Thompson. Okay, so as the mayor of the city of Thompson, I proclaim that there will be no taxes. Recycling will be free. Garbage pickup will be free. Everyone makes a million dollars. I believe you're out of order. Do I have to give it back to you now? I would prefer that. Fine. That was kind of fun, though. It probably feels a lot more at home now. Can I, can I bang the hammer? You can try it. Gently. But you did it pretty loud there. I did it with authority. Hit. <laughs> have you ever had to hit anyone with it? Uh, I've never had to hit anyone with it. I have had to hit it on the desk for people. It's loud. Do it. Okay. Now, you have a certificate here and a proclamation. And the reason we're here is to talk about this and mostly just have the presentation and make this official. I don't want to reveal what it is, but it's something that's near and dear to my heart as a broadcaster. So I'm going to let you sit down and uh, read the proclamation. So on behalf of the city of Thompson and the authority vested in me as the mayor of the city of Thompson, I am proud to proclaim today's date, May the 22nd, 2012, as Dress Like a Broadcaster Day in the city of Thompson. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Mayor Johnston. Pleasure. You look great as a broadcaster with uh, some sweet legs like that and socks. If you ever come in and need a job as, at the radio station, I'll certainly make some room for you. Thank you. That's really inspiring. This is certainly the uh, absolute best day ever to be a broadcaster, let me tell you. So, well, my broadcasting dreams go up in flames because of my white chicken legs. Let's go to uh, a story with a man who has a dream of playing in the NHL, and his dream is alive and well. Bradley Carp with that story and Justin Pollock of the Moose Jaw Warriors. I'm here with Moose Jaw Warriors goaltender Justin Pollock. Justin, here to talk to you about your playoff experience with the Warriors. Welcome. Oh, thanks. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, but why aren't you wearing any pants? Broadcasters don't wear pants behind the booth, my friend. Oh, well, now I know. Okay. Well, let's talk about your experience in the playoffs. You had a couple of games with the Moose Jaw Warriors before they got knocked out. How was that? Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, I mean, learned a lot. Uh, it was a lot of fun, so uh, no complaints. 
and you made one really, really nice save where you, you slid across, you dove across, you got it with your glove. Uh, can you just sort of walk us step by step through that save? Uh, yeah, so um, Michael St. Croix took it down the right side and uh, there was a guy in front of me and I, could, I knew he was probably gonna try and pass it to him or get it, uh, shoot it for a tip. So I was just expecting that and he ended up passing it to him and I went down and he had enough time to try and drag it and stuff it far side. Uh, and I was kind of, I, I thought he was going to try to do that and I was going to try and poke check, but I never got around to that. And he ended up fumbling the puck, so he didn't put it in the net, so I got kind of lucky for that. And then, but it turned out there was another guy at the side of the net, so he and he had a chance to stuff it in. And I just ended up getting my glove over there in time and snagging the puck. Now, I wanted to ask you, because I, I was a goaltender myself before I became a broadcaster. And I had this problem where my teams were always so good that I'd just be sitting at the other end of the ice board and I'd keep a couple of things with me to keep me entertained. And I have your glove here. Yep. Now, could you just take us through a couple of the things in here that you have that keep you entertained during the game? Okay, well, first, uh, you know, between whistles or even when the play's in their end, I like to read Patrick Waugh's biography. That's a good read. That's a good choice. Yep. Uh, you got... Sometimes the beard gets a little itchy, so... Shaving cream and a razor here. Very good. And I don't know if you've heard, but I'm quite the rapper, so I might sing along every once in a while. So you just jam out to the tunes being played in the rink? Yeah, or you know, even make up my own stuff. Could you give us a verse? Uh, uh, what do you want to hear? Anything. Whatever you want. You're the star. Um, little, little, I don't know, it's a... Give me a club something. jam. Give me some LL Cool J. I don't even care what it is. You could even sing me some Justin Bieber. <laughs> so, uh, okay, well, uh, I'm gonna think here. <laughs> A little Carly Ray. Whatever you want. You know, uh, A little Call Me Maybe. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I gotta remember the lyrics okay. here. Um, hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my number. So call, call me, me maybe. maybe. Perfect. That's great. Oh, thank Wonderful. you. You know, if hockey doesn't work out, you could clearly get a second career as a singer-songwriter. All for it. Now, we all know that you're a good hockey player, clearly a good singer, but uh, the one thing you told me that you're not very good at is golf, and that's why we're here at the driving range, the Thompson Golf Club, so we can see what the problem is, because as you know, I'm a semi-pro golfer, and I'll be able to fix this for you. So how about you just take a waltz up on here and, and have a drive for us? Uh, all right. Do what I can. Now, I don't think you got the height on that that you want. It kind of looked like Shaq trying to do aerobics. But I think I know what the problem is because you are a goaltender and you're in your hockey gear so much that I think if you put your gear on, you might have a better shot. So what do you say? Well, anything to help my swing. All right, let's do it. That was so much better. See how far you got it? Yeah, I don't. I guess you were right. I'm usually right. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you throw it back to the sports desk. So I'm Justin Pollock with Bradley Carp. The score back to you. Thanks, Justin. You know what they say about uh, what happens when you get good at golf. Just ask Tiger. You get really lucky with the ladies. You can help me get drafted by using hashtag DraftCarp on Twitter, retweeting the video, liking this video on YouTube. You can also help by calling the score's head office and demanding them to officially recognize Dress Like a Broadcaster Day within Canada. The other thing you can do is when you're playing Pokemon, make sure you use Magikarp, because I tell you, Splash is effective. That's it for this morning. Lots of stuff coming up at the top of the hour. Score in the morning loop, coming right at you. Hey, who turned off the lights? Can't find my pants. Does anybody know where my pants are? This isn't funny, I'm gonna have to go outside the studio dressed like this. Guys, not wearing any pants!